Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're doing amazing. Today we're going to talk about how the turntables have turned on the turntables. Today we're talking about Taylor Frankie Paul, who's been arrested, and we're going to talk about the ramifications of what it means to be a family vlogger, someone who exploits children online, and also lives a life of absolute debauchery and shit showness. Okay? Because in the end, it really only affects the children. And when your entire life is out there because you decided it, because you decide you want to make millions of dollars being an influencer, then this is the shit that's going to go down. Also, the lives that these people lead are not normal, and we're going to talk about why that's not safe for children. So, let's go. So if you're new to the Taylor Frankie Paul situation, she was part of the Utah Moms TikTok collective where they were like sharing husbands and shit like that and doing threesomes and having parties and just being nasty and just like flaunting it all over TikTok like they were the best thing since sliced bread. Taylor Frankie did a bunch of videos like where she would answer questions about her kid wearing helmets and stuff and she would sexily dance in front of him. She was one of the most disgusting of all of them. And then it came out that her husband left her because she slept with her best friend's husband outside of the rules that they all created for their little group sex project. Okay. These people are not like, I, I know that everybody's like, you know, don't kink shame, let people do what they want, everything else. But at the same point, at the same time, I'm old fashioned, right? I'm a one gal kind of dude. And when people make uh, vows to another person, I feel like you should probably stick to those vows or leave that person before you step outside the marriage, right? Don't be a dick is what I'm saying. And so she did this and she, she went through the whole process of divorce. Her husband left her and she still went on the internet and still did her thing and still made more money. And like, there's a show possibly being pitched about her having her own show. Like talk about celebrating the worst of the worst. This is what's wrong with the industry is that we celebrate the worst of the worst. You think the Kardashians have given the world anything that we are like, thanks Kardashians. There are more people who hate Elon Musk because he's not super far left than there are people who hate the Kardashians for not doing anything. At least Elon Musk created shit. He wants to get our get our, you know, take us to the next level as a, as a planet and shit. Like he, he wants good things. He wants free speech. He wants all that. And yet he is so much hated. You get people like Kardashians like, I made skins. Oh, thanks. Right. I, I'm the one who, you know, the Kardashians are, are, I think, are one of the OG creators and influencers in the world who encourage women to change everything about themselves because it's not good enough. They are they are not saying they started it, but they're one of the main protagonists in that whole in that whole narrative. Right. They are terrible people. And so people like Fra Frankie Paul and the Kardashians and people they put on these shows like like Milf Island and all these kinds of things. These are the they, they do that because it's provocative and people want to watch it. And I blame the human race for that because we do want to watch it. We want to see people who are shitty, who are worse than us, because we want to feel good about ourselves. People don't watch Taylor Frankie Paul or family vloggers that bring drama and everything else because they like them. They like to watch them because you're judging them and you want to feel good about yourself. So I can't really blame you, okay, because you're better than them. And here's the thing about the world that we live in. When somebody who's rich or famous or whatever goes through a whole heap and pile of shit, people just love it, right? Half the reasons because they deserve it and people like to watch justice and karma being delivered to those who deserve it. The other half is because people want to know that these people are real and that they go through shit and that I'm not the only one going through shit. That these rich people who have everything can still go through the shit and you want to watch it, right? So Taylor Frankie Paul got more famous for being a shitty ass person, got more followers and love for being a shitty ass person. And that's the, that's the problem here. The other problem is, is when she does something stupid, like get arrested for domestic violence, which just happened. She was arrested um, in Utah. Taylor Taylor Paul intake date was 3.56 uh, a.m. So she's partying till 3.56 a.m. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with partying, but she also has her kids at her house. And we know that because of what happened here. Now, she's partying until 4 o'clock in the morning with her children in the home. And I likely there's not one sober adult in that entire place, which all and you guys know my stance on that. Go ahead and party and drink all you want. Okay, but if you are a sole caretaker of your child, there's no reason for you being intoxicated or inebriated in any way, right? That should be illegal, actually. Shouldn't be able to, because what if there's an emergency, right? Who's going to take care of your children when you're drunk? So she was released, obviously, the next, she was released, like, the same day, but, like, a few hours later, right? Ten, almost 10 hours later. She's 28. It's 28, okay. And you can watch this video. This TikToker did a video on it. Let's watch what, what she was arrested for. Oh my gosh, so this is all alleged information, but apparently Taylor Frankie Paul got arrested. 
And if you don't know anything about TikTok mom, Utah drama, she was a big part of the swinger scandal, basically the main part of it. And let me yes, just she wasn't. <laughs> show you what this TikToker posted. So for some reason, my TikTok is cutting off the top, which says her name. Right there, it says Salt Lake. Then right here, we have charge information, three charges on 218, which is today. Then if you go down to charge- Assault, criminal mischief, and domestic violence in front of a child. Okay. Why is there a child up at three o'clock in the morning that you're committing assault in front of them? If you look through these comments of people, there's lots of this. I feel bad for her. She seems like a sweet person going through a very hard time publicly. I hope everyone involved is okay. No, no, no. She got arrested. She was at this party. I forget what it's called. And they had to dress like someone that they are, that they, that their type is. I don't know. So she dressed in this flannel, whatever. Okay. She got arrested. There was likely multiple witnesses there, 10 people there in the pictures that I saw. So maybe whatever, maybe there's a misunderstanding, but here's the issue with all this. You know, I feel like she's going through a very time, hard time publicly. Well, maybe don't cheat on your husband publicly in a, in a group of Mormons that are sleeping around together publicly. Maybe don't put your entire life on the internet and dance like a stripper in front of your child talking about why he needs a helmet shaper publicly. Maybe don't put every aspect of your life on the online. If you don't want to be scrutinized for the shit that you're putting on the internet, bring it on in here. Don't put it on the internet. You absolute dunce. Everybody, there's people come at me. Okay. All the time. Josh, you're so mean, you know, there, you know, uh, <laughs> it's funny. If you don't want me to be mean about you exploiting your children, there's just this easy solution. Don't put it out there. You lose all semblance of all privacy that you ever wanted ever when you put yourself on the internet for people to comment on. You are putting yourself out there for comments, considering every platform has a comment section that you leave open. Unless you do something stupid, then you turn it off. Then you're not looking for comment, but you still get the comments. And I think everybody would agree that's kind of how this works. If you want to make money being a social media influencer, somebody who is on social media, you are opening yourself up to comments, to scrutiny, to judgment, because that's what you choose and you make a lot of money doing it. And so people, and so most people, We'll say, you know what? I'm making millions of dollars, so it's worth it. Some people want their cake and eat it too, but they can't. They're like, I want to do whatever I want. I want to say whatever I want. I want to show you all the shit, but how dare you comment? Are you out of your effing mind? No, there are going to be people who comment because you put it out into a public space. Now, we could all agree, right? That that's fair. Now, are you seeing it? You getting it now? Those same people will put their children in that same public square without their children's ability to consent and to be opened up to comments, judgments, and everything else. And predators, by the way. You see the problem now? You guys starting to get it? Hopefully, maybe a little bit. So when it comes to somebody like Taylor Frankie Paul, who puts her kids on the internet and who, who griffs on this, because she's disgusted, I'm sorry, and everybody in her circle is the same. When you are absolutely enamored with the attention and the dopamine hits you get from the comments and the, and the love that you get, then I'm sorry. When this shit goes down, you're going to get scrutinized for it. Now, there's been some conjecture that she had thrown a chair and it hit one of her children. I don't know if that's true or not. Apparently, the guy, the, the comment was she threw a chair at this guy, Dakota, and he called the police. Dakota has since come out and said, no, I didn't call the police. But no one else is speaking, right? But she was arrested for domestic violence in front of a child. This is a person who is on the internet who shows you something about who she is. She literally just wants to be, you know, a thirst trap. That's basically Taylor Frankie Paul's whole thing is I'm a thirst trap. Look at me. I'm a thirst trap. Right. And has kids. So I, and you guys know I'm old fashioned with that too. When kids come into the picture, you've got to start growing up. You got to start being an adult. You got to start taking seriously that being a parent is something really, really important to the world. And the legacy that you leave your children is really important to the world. Right? What you show your children and how to behave is really important to the world. When you see someone like Jess Fam and her kids growing up to be exactly like her, that's because she shaped those children to be that way. Right? Doherty doesn't when it comes to Alex and some of the other kids who love social media. Those kids think they are untouchable. They think they are famous and they, they live in that moment. But they're also super bullied. Okay? They didn't get to choose that. 
But when you groom your kids to show them that this is normal behavior, they will also do that because they think it is normal. If Taylor Frankie Paul is arrested for domestic violence in front of her child, she's showing her kid that that's acceptable behavior. Partying till 2, 3 o'clock in the morning while your children are home is the least of the worries here, but it is a problem. Taylor Frankie Paul doesn't get to be like, oh my, well, are you okay? Taylor Frankie Paul, you okay? No. You don't get to be that because you are a child exploiter. You get to be scrutinized and judged for what you did because you clearly did something wrong. Three charges. And then she just deletes the video where she's wearing that thing because she's filmed walking out of the police with that same thing on. And she just, now she's going to go silent for a little while. Then she's going to do a video about it and she's going to make more money off it. This whole conversation is less about Taylor Frankie Paul and more about, holy F, why are the stupidest people on earth famous? Why is it like this? Why do we honor and celebrate the stupidest among us? And some of them are smart. Like, you know, I'm, I'm about to do a, uh, a video about a podcast that uh, Alicia from Dark Eddie Dozen was in. She's actually intelligent when she speaks. Okay, she's smart. But she's calculated. There's two types of people that we saw. Calculated people who will stop at nothing to be famous, which means they will cause ruckuses. They will be calculating what they show you because they want to be talked about, right? They don't think that any, any coverage is bad coverage. Right? And then you get people like Taylor, Frankie, Paul, Jess Fam, and all these people, these influencers, beauty influencers, who literally have nothing to offer the world. They, are, they have the IQ of a peanut. And just because they, had, they shake their ass on the internet, they get followers and likes. That's it. There's nobody in between when it comes to people who are like beauty or family influencers. Either you're smart and ugly, or you're beautiful and dumb. I'm smart and ugly, so I got that side going for me. But you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's who we celebrate. And so when you go through these comments, I hope she's okay, right? I just, no, 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 no. I don't know what's going on in the situation, but what I do know is one person in that relationship is sober. It doesn't work well when the other isn't. So it looks like Taylor Frankie Paul is going off the deep end, but she's showing everybody here. And here's another dangerous thing about what these people do on their channels, okay? As we saw with a bunch of people like Bits of Bish, right? The behind the scenes isn't always as, as lovely as they make it seem to be. And so they're showing us something that's not true. Taylor Frankie Paul embraced being a tart. Okay. And says, yeah, I cheated my husband. Let's get more famous. Yes, queen slay. Right. And she embraced that and she took it and she, and people would call her smart businesswoman for doing that. Right. But she displayed something that was going, she's clearly struggling in the back end that you can't see. Right? And everybody comes out, oh, I knew there was something wrong. Did you know there's something wrong? No, you didn't. Because she only shows you the good parts. But let's not forget, everybody, that these people have the right to show you the good parts. Fine. But also don't forget that there are children that live with them who have to suffer through this bullshit fakery all the time. Okay, they're on the other side of it. They get to see how the sausage is made. They think it's normal to be like this crazy, drunk, alcoholic, whatever weirdo. And in the minute the camera turns on, their mom is somebody else. What are you showing your children? when you do that. Right, Sam? Come here, buddy. Come say hi. Sam says it too. Okay, nails need cut. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, coming. Been a long time since you said hi to everybody. How are you? Oh, yeah. A lot of people are like, again, you'll see people say, well, I knew there's something wrong. You didn't know anything was wrong. But the, 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 here's the scariest part about all this shit, and especially when it comes to people like Doherty Dozen and Jess Fame and everything, the behind the scenes things you don't see, it'll start slowly leaking out until they have no choice but to address it about how shitty they are. Micah Stoffer is the perfect example of this. She didn't come forward with an apology until everything was done, till he was already, oh, till he was already rehomed through Facebook, right? She didn't have, she didn't, she wouldn't say, she would not have said anything if she wasn't called out. Who's a good boy? No, 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 touch the camera. Don't touch the camera. No, 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 no. And here's another comment. Can y'all just leave her alone? Leave Brittany alone. Why do you feel the need to make the answer, make that answer show her mistakes? No. You don't, these people, and the same person will watch every video that Taylor Frankie Paul puts out. You lose this ability, right? Which means that your kids lose the ability. That's what I'm trying to get at here. And here's a comment. Say what? Just made my entire day. Why did it make your entire day? Because she's missing church. <laughs> and here's another comment. Oh no, she's been trying to heal. No, she's showing you that she's healing. She's not trying to heal. If you are really serious about your life after what happened to her and her cheating on her husband and wanting to be better, you get off the internet, you find something new to do, you go get therapy and you get off the internet. The internet is never going to be a place where you go to heal. Okay? 
it is so toxic here because of the comments that you get, right? But you, again, you don't have the choice. You chose this life and the toxicity that comes with it because you want to make millions of dollars being an influencer. Someone says, yeah, you can see it on the jail website in Utah. It's sad. I hope the dad gets more custody. The issue here now, there's going to be custody battles and the, apparently the dad who has half custody is going to now probably get full custody, which is probably better because I don't think that guy has been on the internet. I could be wrong. I don't know. I haven't been following it. I hope he's not. I hope he walked away from the internet and you guys will probably tell me. Um, but these kids need to be out of the spotlight. They need to be out of a home where it's so super toxic like this. Why is she getting arrested for hurting people? in front of children. Someone said, I read another article saying it happened at a party. It wasn't her own child. Someone said she kicked a chair to hit a child. I don't know. It, all this conjecture on these sites, everybody can get as mad as you want about it. Why are people saying things? Because that's the internet. This is the place you chose to air everything you do and be real and raw. That's what comes with it. Everybody can say, so I heard they were cooking meth in the basement and somebody threw a chair. So you can say anything you want on the internet, okay? You could just say, I heard, but it's, it could be wrong. It doesn't matter. And it could ruin someone's life. But it doesn't matter because you chose this and this is what comes with that choice that you make. Now she can come out and tell the truth and say everything she wants to say. And she's like, I'm healing and blah, blah, blah. Likely she will, she'll say, or she'll totally not even mention it ever. And it'll be like that big thing that keeps coming back until she mentions it. Like Kira about Preston. Doesn't want to say anything until, because she wants to capitalize on it. If anything that's, that's, and it sucks to say this, but if anything that's going to come from this, it's going to make her more famous. It's going to make her better and more rich. But I hope in the end the children get protected. And I hope the dad, who's probably watching this, that you go, you get the custody that you need to get those kids out of a situation like that. Taylor Frankie Paul is only going to get worse, especially if she gets a TV show and goes down this whole path. This is not a good place for children to be. This is not a life that children need to be in. A famous, like they become like famous rock stars or actors where they have these debaucherous parties all the time because they want to film it for content. But in the, at its core, there are children there. And all these people that she's connected with, they all have children too. So shame on all of you for doing this shit. Grow up, start being parents. And I'm not saying you can't have a good time every now and then. I'm saying that. I'm saying they have a good time over being parents because it's more important to them to be influencers and making money on the internet and doing having parties and look like how cool and how free we are. I'm telling you, I know it's old fashioned, but when you have children, they are the priority, which means you might not be able to do all the crazy shit you did before having kids. That's what I'm saying. And these people all prioritize their social media presence and influence over their children's well-being and safety. All of them do. And it's provable by seeing their content. That's it. So Taylor Frankie Paul, you're the douche mom of the day for being a douche. Douche mom. <laughs>and that's what's going on. Sorry it was a shorter one today, but I wanted to talk about it because it's a pretty hot topic and I want to see you guys I want to see your 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 take on this whole thing. I agree that I'm on the internet and so I am open to scrutiny in every single way. I know that by making money on this platform that people are going to look for everything about me and they're going to make up lies and do everything else that comes with the territory. But you're not going to see me arrested under domestic violence, assault charges and shit like that. I'm going to put my kids welfare over everything else. These people are assholes. So stop giving them your social media currency. They don't deserve it. Why do you even want to watch them fall apart? And you know what? And I get why you want to watch these type of people fall apart because you think they have it all together. You think they're perfect because they show you a perfect life. And then when they fall apart, you're like, thank God, they're not perfect. And so I get that. I do understand that honestly. When somebody like this falls apart and shits the bed and everything else, you feel better about yourself. Maybe that's one service they do provide people. The thing is, the other side of that coin is that it's detrimental too to be like so perfect. Look how perfect I am. And so many women, especially teenage girls, and that new new study that was just released about how there's like a 40% increase in teenage girls having body issues and trying to commit suicide and everything else, that all has to do with social media. And people just like Taylor Frankie Paul, who says, you gotta be sexy and hot, you gotta be a thirst trap or you're nothing. You got to look like this or you're not good enough. I know I'm paraphrasing, but that's what the industry does to people in general. Mostly women, but people in general. You will always compare yourself to these people who put out an image of perfection and you will always be left wanting. Capaz. It's not good for anybody. But it's not going away anytime soon, I know that. But what you can do is be an adult, grow up, and stop watching this bullshit because it's like high school drama and it's garbage. Right? Don't give her your social media currency. Walk away. Stop watching Taylor Frankie Paul. She's a dickweed. Cool? Everybody take a deep breath. It's rare that I do a short one like that, right? Dang. I like it. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, we'll have a conversation about it. But she's kind of a jerk. But you're not a jerk. You're amazing, credible, and valuable. Don't you ever damn well forget it. Don't fly Flair or American Airlines. They're jerks. Forgive yourself and I will see you.